Last week I had a really interesting case. I spoke about two technology companies where the Obermott ranks were completely different from the financial press. Obermott said well, company A is good, company B is bad, and the financial press said exactly the adversary. And I showed you that the financial press looks into the future, while Obermott just looks in the present and the past. And that's the big different difference. You actually find in the financial press a lot of opinions about the future and you don't find them at Obermott. And that's why both sources of information are interesting for you. Now I want to give you some really important advice. There are areas where the past is not very important. And that's when Obermott ranks don't work very well. One such area is high technology. In high tech, everything is in the future. Look at Google, look at Facebook. Their profits today cannot explain their valuation. It's all in the future. There you have to go to consultants, to industry experts, and to the media. Another area is biotechnology. When you create a new uh, medicament, when you create new medicine, you know, all your cash flows are in the future. We can't measure anything right now that justifies the valuation of a biotechnology company. So when you invest in high tech and biotech, use Obermott ranks with a lot of caution. As a matter of fact, always be careful about these markets because they're really, really risky. Everything is in the future and it's very hard to assess what these companies really worth. I wish you good luck with your own investment.